in Guadeloupe, we, there, there is not the um, we don't have the big farmers. People have uh, three or four hectares. I don't know. I don't know the name in English. But I don't it's, know uh, it sounds, it sounds like right. Yeah. Yeah. Small small exploitation. There, there, there is no commercial farms uh, in coffee industry. Only small. Uh, uh, and um, we have the particular um, something in Guadeloupe. People we have a uh, farm. There is something we call uh, Jardin Creole. They have a lot of uh, diversity uh, in the garden, in the farm, and that's that. That's a particular. Uh, that's something really um, unique in the coffee. Coffee. Our coffee is really different. Uh, each farmer has the, have the different coffee because he, he plant. He have uh, different uh, fruits or vegetables around the coffee tree, and that's why. Uh, we don't blend our coffee, um, and we have the different uh, different partner. And when they we have uh, maybe uh, I don't know uh, coffee from one partner, we don't blend it with another partner. Um, may, uh, even if it's the the same, even if it's uh, Guadeloupe and coffee, we okay. we make different coffee uh, from the, uh, all the farmers. Once again, to show the diversity of the coffee, uh, because we have one partner uh, in Guadeloupe that produces coffee with cocoa trees. We have another partner which produces, uh, which is produ who is producing, sorry, uh, coffee with banana, uh, and we have another one uh, with coffee trees. We have uh, flowers, mm. and all these three coffees are totally different. And when we organize tasting sessions, some tasting session with people, they test the free coffees and say, okay, uh, so I think this is one is Guadeloupe and this one is Mexico and this one is Costa Rica. No, guys, the free uh, come from uh, Guadeloupe, but they are totally different. And it's really magic.